What's up, G-Fusion? This is Philip here with another vlog. Now, I don't usually do individual episode reviews, but Kamen Rider Zio episodes 9 and 10 were some of the best episode arcs I have ever seen so far. And I love it for a number of reasons. Number one, Dan Kuroto. Now, we all love him as a character, and maybe he's the most popular character in Exade, much more so than Emu, who is the main protagonist. But he was such a great character, even though he's a villain most of the time, and he's also a villain in this arc. Yeah, he's a great character, so much so that we love seeing him back. And that's amazing. Although, at first, I'd be honest that I didn't think that Kuroto would fit in with this story because it's supposed to be about O's, but given his god complex and the kingly powers that are related to Kamen Rider O's kind of makes sense now. And I think having Kuroto infused with the power of Kamen Rider O's is a great thing. Seeing a former writer or writer to be in that case because it was actually 2010 and you know, Kamen Rider X8 happened in 2016. So anyway, having a writer actor become another Kamen Rider is actually an interesting idea. It was actually well done. And that makes the whole arc interesting. And the next thing I love about this episode arc is that they brought back A.G. and Hina. Now, I love that tandem in Kamen Rider O's and I kinda shit them in. And I'm actually still disappointed that they didn't end up together. Uh, like, at least some sort of development between them in this uh, arc, but um, th maybe that's just me. And still, I love how they kept AG's character trying to help people and, you know, having connections with everyone, like connecting everyone together What is what I mean. But yeah, I also love that they made AG into a polit politician, which his father was, by the way, in the original O's series, but now AG is a politician to help other people, which is great. And the red feather on AG's coat was a nice little nod to Ank. Maybe they weren't able to get Diosuke Miura to come back to the show. But even as Izumi Hina's brother, I thought it would be much better if he was in it. But anyway, having AG back at least was already good enough for me. Now the action scenes in the show were definitely amazing, especially with the use of the time engine in in its mecha form. That's something that doesn't really happen often in the show, but having it given screen time, so amazing. It was so amazing i tell you if you haven't watched the episode yet go check him out right now uh, i believe episode 9 is out already but episode 10 will come later you will be able to find it online if you search for it and i also love like how at the ending they revealed the next writer and we all know it's going to be gaim and yes Gakusano is coming back, also uh, Yutaka Kobayashi, so we will get Gaim and Baron back together. So that is another amazing reason why I love this uh, episode arc. And I'm pretty sure Gaim arc would be just as amazing. And yeah, so much so that I'm looking forward to the next episode. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. And I will see you again in the next video. So anyways, 
Thanks for watching.